Well, I think he's a significant signing for us because um, we didn't fill the number nine shirt in the summer, and uh, obviously there's a bit of frustration about that, especially from our fans. And we managed to do it in this window, and we said, you know, with a good chance we might. Um, we kind of done it quickly, so um, it was a clean deal, which was uh, which is a good thing. More importantly, is the player who uh, plays at the top of uh, the move, i.e., finishes the move off. Hopefully, I mean, he's got a great record um, at a lower league club in Bundesliga to be the second top goal scorer. He's got nine already this year. He's, a, he's an outstanding prospect to come to the Premier League and be a success. I'm reading really into what you were saying the other day. This combination of Denver Bar and Denver Cisse was something that you always had in your mind at the idea of having both of them here to, to play together. No, I just felt that at the top of the pitch that we needed to strengthen because Denver has played that role for us, but he's linked up the play um, in, 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 a, in a sort of number 10 role, which, is, which has worked really well for us. So that gives a nice combination. But you've got to remember that um, that's just masses uh, and brings up the competition up there. And uh, we had a nice response this morning, as I'd expect. Leon Best looked a little bit livelier, as did Shola. Uh, and Peter trained today for the first time because they understand that competition breeds its own uh, commitment from the other players. But it also gives great belief to our top players who are here to suddenly say, oh, OK, uh, we start to look like we've got a really, really good opportunity here. And uh, hopefully we can take it. You mentioned the number nine shirt. I mean, at other clubs it's number nine, but here number nine means something special. Does he understand the significance of whose boots he's trying to fill? <laughs> well, I did my best to try and explain it to him, but of course, he's never going to be able to absorb that until he walks out with the shirt on in, in front of uh, 54,000 Geordies. And um, I know the sort of welcome they're going to give him. He doesn't. Um, and at the same token, if he goes 10 games without scoring a goal, I know how difficult it's going to become for him. So it's an important period. I think our fans uh, understand that um, you're going to need to be a bit patient with him as he finds his feet. Um, but he's got to get in the team first, and I hope, I'm hoping that when he comes back, he's going to find that bit difficult.